Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we're working on a 2004 Hyundai XG350. It's a V6. And the customer complaint is his check engine light comes on intermittently, no drivability problems. Code stored is a P0320 engine speed input malfunction. And by the way, the scanner that I'm using today is the ThinkTool Platinum S10. It is almost identical to the ThinkTool Pros. Uh, just has a couple of extra features like uh, internet browser. You can check your email on it. Um, and do some programming if you're connected to the internet. Again, not like factory programming, but um, so it's a little more capable than the ThinkTool Pros. And um, right now they actually have a sale on these, so they're identical tools. I would say whichever price <laughs> is better, uh, get that one. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for this scanner. But P0320, let's look that up in service info and see what we find. Okay, looking up P0320, ignition distributor engine speed input circuit. General description. So it's called this ignition failure sensor. It's used to check whether the spark ignition has occurred correctly or not. And also used to drive the tachometer. Now the customer said the tachometer always works. So this uh, problem you know, may or may not be the sensor. So it basically monitors the voltage difference between a resistance which is on the battery circuit for the ignition coil. When the ignition coil works properly, the current's detected. And this is confirmed every ignition event with the crankshaft sensor, camshaft sensor. If PCM detects a malfunction, no ignition is possible, engine would not start. Okay. No current. All of the ignition coils during 32 ignitions. Here's a little schematic of this sensor. So we have a power and a ground. And then the power goes through a resistor and out to the ignition coils, one, two, and three. Then the last wire here is, it looks like a square pulse. Whenever this comparator sees current, it'll turn on this transistor and pull down this signal coming from the tachometer and the PCM. So we don't care about the flow chart. Here's a wiring diagram. Here is the um, let's see, ignition coil fuse. Here are the three ignition coils and here's our ignition fail sensor. So power in, power out to the coils, a ground and the white wire that goes to our instrument cluster and back to the computer says ignition detect signal right there on pin 3 so anyways since the car runs fine I'm not worried about the ignition coils themselves I'm just worried about the sensor so let's put a scope on two channels on the actual tack signal and on the voltage going to the coils and we should see little voltage drops whenever the coils are energized and see if that output tack signal uh, is correlated to the ignition coil firing events. Okay, so the location of the sensor is actually very easy to get to. It's right up here on the thermostat housing. Four wires. So I have two channels. Channel one is going to be the tack signal output. Channel two is the power wire going to our ignition coils. So let's uh, run the scope and start up the car. All right, here we go. Ooh, the tack is actually not working at the moment. And we don't see anything on the signal wire. How cool is that? So I'm going to try tapping on the sensor and see if we can wake it up. It looks like it's dead. So I think it's heat related. The car is warmed up now.
before turning the camera on, I actually captured the signal when it was still there. And here's what it looks like. You see I tapped it and it went away and now it's just dead in the water. So the tack signal is a 0 to 12 volt pulse. And you can see the little coil ramps right there, each ignition coil. Now again, they're nice ramps, the ignition coils aren't shorted or anything. It's just that this sensor is no longer producing the tack signal. And for a failed sensor, I guess it's just stuck at zero, zero volts. So it's constantly pulling that tack wire down. And the tachometer definitely does not work showing zero. So that's it for the Diag. We'll get an OEM replacement ignition failure sensor, plug it in. This car should be good to go. So nice and quick and easy. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right, back on the Hyundai. Next week we have an OEM Kia Hyundai ignition failure sensor. Here it is. So it looks identical. And this one looks kind of hot. Like it got electronics in there. Probably got hot and it's just age and heat are not kind to electronics. So let's plug this in and make sure the tachometer works. Clear the codes out. See if the tachometer works. <laughs> Excellent. We'll get a scanner, reset that light. Should be should be in good shape. Okay, so there's our P0320. Clear fault code. Okay. Start it up. All right, no check engine light. Awesome. So, pretty straightforward diagnosis. Again, uh, service info was key to know what that sensor does and what the symptoms are. Basically, if your tax not working, you need that sensor. Your car is running fine. So, thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right, a little bonus footage. Airbag warning light is on. Let's see what that's all about. Read fault code. Side impact sensor, front passenger circuit, short to battery. So they're all history codes. So we can save those just so we have them in our memory. Ignition voltage low, side impact sensor, front passenger circuit short to battery, front driver circuit short to battery. So let's just clear that out. But the customer said it's on. Has that light been on for a long time, Don? Which one? That airbag? Yeah. It's been on for years? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see what happens if we clear it out. So it's still there. So there's no trouble code. Let's cycle the key. Wait for it to go to sleep. So it's flashing. Three, four. Okay, now it's not there.
read fault code again. No trouble code, that's interesting. Usually on airbag systems, if there is no fault, the light will go out on the next ignition cycle. So the owner will keep me updated if the light comes back, um, if he wants me to uh, do a follow-up diagnosis. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.